Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new a new video. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys basically for my new players out there that are probably low level and stuff. Basically what I wanted to tell you guys is use your abilities to your advantage. I see a lot of new players not using not strafing when they shoot um and doing a whole bunch of stuff and they're they they do, they play wraith they play bloodhound they play lifeline they play pathfinder and i see them using their abilities in an occasion like a once in a lifetime occasion when it's thing first things first any new player that's watching this go into the firing range and look at all the guns so basically i'm gonna go in the firing range here and this is what I did when I started. I didn't know any of the guns, right? So I was like, what is a better way to find out how to go into the, all the guns? Where they literally have all the guns in the game right here for you. So basically, um, you know, you're going to see all these legends. You're only going to have these. And you're going to see all these legends. And right off the bat, you're going to get somebody like Octane, Mirage. Loba, Valkyrie, these new players in Season 12, they already have Valkyrie, Octane, and Watson. However, if you're looking for anybody new like Rampart, Horizon, Maggie, Revenant, you should watch videos on the people and see uh, what are the advantages of the people. Uh, and maybe what are their heirlooms, what are just all around like thing so what you want to do is probably start off i wouldn't start off the snipers i would start off with the guns that you will see on an everyday basis all these light ammo guns light ammo guns are all around the map and they're probably the most well known because once you get into other weapons they it kind of gets more tricky and attachments and all that but these are probably the most basic attachments so i'm just gonna get the alternator and the best attachments you could probably get for them so um yeah so let's just get the ammo for the gun and here's a big tip for you new players that are joining the game basically don't don't worry on your level don't worry of how level how far you're getting in your level worry about progress the more progress that you see and the more progress that you are making that's what you need to be doing uh, also find your main if you use all the legends in the game before you use uh, a, a youtuber that you like to see or something like that uh, no, especially but anyways use a character that you're gonna enjoy playing while also enjoy doing like what also good with playing and you get good games so first things first what I see a lot of pe new players doing is they'll do this And they'll just, they'll, like, they won't even move when they shoot or they won't, um, uh, control their recoil. They'll kind of just start up and just, you know, do that. This is what a good player you're going to see is doing. Notice the difference. So, it might not look like a big difference, but they are doing something, and that is strafing, like you'll see them strafing, and also spamming their crouch button when they're shooting. Now, it doesn't really matter what your crouch button is in this game, as long as you are good with it, you're going to be doing the best. So, like this. As you can see, if you're good with your crouch button, there's no worries. And also, guys, you can cancel your tactical. Okay, first things first. Let's just use that. Setting a portal. Portal right. placed. But you could cancel your tactical if you don't have your ultimate, basically. So if I'm doing this, and it has to be a tactical that takes time before you do it. So it goes like this. Void running. So as you can see. Going to phase. You could cancel it. I, I I believe you could also cancel horizons. 
I'm not sure. But, yeah, you can. So, basically, right before... You could, you could cancel it. But. Also, another thing is, I, in my personal opinion, I think that Horizon is probably the best movement legend when in the air and doing basically every movement tech that you think of. She is literally the best movement legend. For example, super gliding. I can't really get it down. But super gliding. T tap strafing or flick strafing in the air. So if you're doing this and you're doing like that, she's really good for that. Another thing is that, anyways, you can go watch her horizon breakdown and you're gonna find it. So, yep, yeah, there's just a big tip for that. Another thing for you guys, new players, is um, finding out like all of these, like which ones are the best, which ones are the worst what you should be doing and also game sense knowing what legend you're going against can put you to a big advantage so let's say you're going against um you just know the player that you're going against and like for example watson and you know that she has her her ultimate being like regening her shields and also she has fences so you should look out when you see when you hear like a Watson or you see a Watson through a door, you should know automatically that she could easily place two fences or she might have nodes right right there by the door and I could easily just get stunned and then shot down. Or a Wraith, you know that she might run away with her void. So make sure you're looking for that void and chasing after her non stop because then she her tactical is basically useless. So, um, yeah, going against good players, though, with, like, that mastered their legends will be a little bit harder to go against because they know so much about the game. So, yeah, just figure out all the legends that you could go against. Maybe if you have a friend, definitely play with that friend if they play Apex because they could teach you all of this stuff that I'm telling you right now. And, uh, maybe you can get a suggestion on what legend you want to play. So, um, yeah, that's about it. That I have to ask, tell you guys, my new beginners that are just starting the game. There are beginner tutorials on how to do the text that I'm doing in this video. For example, B hopping. All I'm doing is holding and pressing jump over and over again. And I'm kind of moving my right analog stick to go and move. And my left analog stick together. Another thing is, a lot of people are going to start out on toggle. Please switch it to hold. Trust me. If you play claw, if you play on anything with your left hand, uh, instead of your right hand to jump and do that, I, I believe you could still do it. Yeah, you could still do it. It's a lot easier on toggle, but trust me guys, if you're trying to learn and you're trying to be a better player, definitely put it on to hold. All these tags that I'm doing right now are so much easier on hold. For example, wall jump. It's so much easier on hold. And doing all this stuff, super gliding, it's so much easier on hold. So please change it to hold. Also, another thing is <clears throat> watch setting videos. Because the more setting videos you could watch, uh, the better you are at the game. This is my recommended settings. This is what I played before I went to ALC. But then when I changed to ALC, my aim was almost like aimbot. Like... <laughs> It was actually so insane. So yeah, that's probably about it. Watch videos on how to play the game. And, uh, you know, just progress. Once you get higher in the ranks, you're going to think this game is so easy. And it's super fun. So, yep. Guys, don't give up. Uh, learn the game. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.